Hi everyone, my name is Jen Antunes and welcome to my channel where I come on here to share with you my passion of all things beauty. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite beauty products that I used, discovered, loved in 2020. This includes skincare, makeup of course, body care, hair care, all of it. The only thing I didn't include was my Avon products, and that's because later on this week, I will be doing another top 10 on just my Avon products. So if you're interested in seeing that, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below, so that way you're notified when I upload it later on this week. And just a heads up, it's probably going to be Friday or Saturday, I'm not sure yet. Anywho, let's get into my top 10. 2020 based. Now, before we get started, I do want to say that everything I'm about to share is through my own personal experience. These are products that I have fallen in love with and can't live without as a 36 year old single work at home mom who has combination skin dark under eye circles, and fine lines. As always, I welcome you to share your experiences with any of the products I talk about today, so that way we can help one another become informed consumers. Now that I got that out of the way, let's jump right into it with my number 10. Now I know you may be thinking, why are there two products for number 10? Two different brands. The reason why is because I honestly feel that these liquid lipsticks are the same. I swear if you would take the label off of these, you wouldn't be able to tell which one is ColourPop and which one is Anastasia Beverly Hills. They both are super lightweight. I do like both of these nude shades. And what got them into my top 10 is the fact that these are the only two lip products that I use when I know I'm going to wear a mask that day. Once these dry down, that's it. They're locked in. They don't budge, they don't smudge, and they last. I mean, I would say most, if not all day long. I would literally say that the ColourPop one is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. The shades may not be the same, but the formulas are spot on, I swear. So, if you're looking for a cheaper version of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick, I highly recommend checking out the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, then you would know that the first half of 2020, I was on a mission to find the perfect brow products to give me natural, full-looking brows like I used to have. For those of you who don't know, I underwent chemotherapy treatment for six months in 2019. So the beginning of 2020, I barely had any brows. And I was still working on growing them back. <sighs> I remember the good old days when I wouldn't have to do anything to my brows. But in June, I finally gave in and I went and spent a little extra and grab the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And then that was it. That just opened the door to my love of Benefit Brow Products. Now I have tried numerous Benefit Brow Products. I've tried the Micro Blading Brow Pen. And now that I actually have brows, I do love it. Which is what I predicted in my brow battle video. So I am super happy that I kept this because... This has helped make my brow routine so much quicker now that I actually have some brows. Then recently, I went and picked up the tinted brow gel over on BoxyCharm Pop-Up. And I actually do love this. I have tried numerous tinted brow gels and I just did not like them. They were chunky and they wouldn't go on right. It was just a mess most of the time. So I was really hesitant on trying this one out. I'm so happy I did pick it up because on those days where I'm really not wearing makeup, I just pop this on my brows and I'm good to go. 
The only Benefit brow product that I tried this year that I didn't care for was the brow contour pen. The formula just was not that great, and I ended up using all of the sculpting and highlighting shades before the brow shades. I don't know, it's weird. I just, I didn't care for it. Anywho, I do have to give props to these brow products because without them, I would have had some weird looking brows most of the year, and these are helping me get through until my brows are fully grown back. Way to go, Benefit. I love them. So to continue on with products that are helping me get back to norm after having chemotherapy is the main choice alpha shampoo and conditioner. Oh my God. This has been by far my favorite shampoo and conditioner that I have discovered since my love of herbal essence in high school. I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, the smell of these actually reminded me of Herbal Essence. On top of that, this shampoo and conditioner helped big time getting my hair healthy again. It's thick again, and I actually have some length. See? I can actually have it up in a ponytail without having a whole bunch of hairspray and bobby pins in it. I haven't been able to do this since I cut it back in March of 2019 due to me losing it from chemo. So, as you can imagine, this is a big win for me. Out of everything I went through during cancer, losing my hair was probably the biggest emotional heartbreak I had. So, that is why I am so excited to have healthy hair again. And so excited to have it at a length once again where I can actually start playing with it like I used to. And I wouldn't be where I am today without the main choice alpha shampoo and conditioner. So thank you so much, the main choice, because you were my superhero this year. Out of all the different types of makeup there is. Eyeshadow primer is probably the one I experimented with the most in 2020. Now I've always had hooded eyes and fine lines and wrinkles, but as I'm getting older and getting closer to 40, I'm noticing that my eyelids are getting oilier and these fine lines and wrinkles are becoming more pronounced. They're even going onto my eyelids. So, I was on a hunt to find an eyeshadow primer that would not only help lock in my eyeshadow, but also make it easier for me to apply my eyeshadow evenly and not have it be all patchy looking. So, upon the recommendation of Robert Welsh, I decided to try out the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And he was spot on with his recommendation. This is by far the only eyeshadow primer that checks off all the boxes for me. Yes, I do use other eyeshadow primers, I admit it, but when I want to ensure I'm going to have a flawless look, or if I'm trying out a new eyeshadow palette and I'm not familiar with the formula, I just don't want to deal with any drama with putting makeup on, this is what I use. So for those of you who are showing signs of aging and getting older, I highly recommend trying this out. I know it is on the more expensive side, but it is so worth it and a little goes a long way. I've had this since June, I believe, and use it at least three, four times a week, and I'm still kicking strong with it. Now, if you're looking for the perfect eyeshadow primer and you don't believe me, I will link Robert Welsh's video down below. In his video, he goes over all of his eyeshadow primer recommendations for whatever issues you may be having, such as oily eyelids, aging eyelids, if you are looking for eyeshadow primer to make your eyeshadow last longer, he goes through it all. It's a great video, and I highly recommend checking it out. 
The e.l.f. Bite Size Duos are another product that have just made my life so much easier, especially on those days where I'm not wearing too much makeup. I have been using the pomegranate, the white peach, and the watermelon. Today I'm actually wearing the pomegranate on my cheeks and as a highlighter. Now I only have these three because these are the only ones I can actually find in my area. Each time I go to the store, I will go and look to see if they have any different shades so I can add to my collection because these just make my daily routine so much easier. They are pigmented, but in a way where you can build them up. What I love to use these for is when I'm in a brush or not wanting to do a full face, I will just add a tinted moisturizer, pop one of these on my cheeks and eyes, throw on some mascara and brow gel, then boom, I'm out the door. It's that easy. Now, if you would like me to show you that makeup routine, just let me know in the comments down below. I don't know about you, but me as a single mom of four boys, it can be difficult at times to even have five minutes to put on my makeup. So I have learned to get my makeup done like, so I would be happy to show you how I get it done fast. <laughs> I have to say this is by far my favorite body cream I used in ever. I never knew how much I loved the peach scent until I used this. So I had gotten this at Bath and Body Works outlet with the sugar scrub. And over the summer, I was using both of the products. And oh my God, I was in love. Sadly though, the sugar scrub ended up getting molded it or that would have been in the top 10 list as well. That's how much I love the Sweet as a Peach scent. It is absolutely divine. It is the best summer scent. It's a lightweight, sweet. <sighs> just thinking about it, it's just making me wish for summer. It also don't help that right outside, I am looking at it snowing right now. So, I am just dreaming of summer and having that peach scent all over me. So I ended up picking this up over at Sephora on a whim. It was on sale. I liked the shade as a bronzer. So I figured I would try it out. And boy, was I spot on because this is absolutely gorgeous on me. I am wearing it today as my bronzer. And what I love is that I can wear this whether I have a beautiful sun-kissed tan in the summertime. And as you can see, when I'm pale as a ghost, it still looks good on me. So this is by far the perfect bronzer and bronzer shade for me. I have yet to find another bronzer that does what this does. It's either too orangey, too red, too shimmery, too matte. Uh, I can either only wear it in the summertime or I can only wear it in the wintertime. This is the perfect formula and shade for me all year round. So this had to go in my top 10. Now, if you follow me over on Instagram, I'm sure you're not surprised that these are in my top three. I am constantly raving about these over there. I just applied these today and I love that these are not press-ons where you're like lucky it will last you to the end of the day. Like these last me if not two weeks, like even longer than that. And another thing I love about it is that it comes with everything you need and it's super easy to use. Plus, they have a wide variety of options. They have short nails, long nails, rounded nails, pointed nails. Whatever style you like, they have it. 
And the reason why I use these over and over again is because these don't damage my nails. You remember those days when we used to be able to go to a nail salon and we would get our nails done? And then, like, your nails would fall off and then you'd be like this and it would just, like, break? Yeah, that doesn't happen with these. My nails can naturally grow. And when these either fall off or I take them off, my nails are just normal. They're not soft. They're not brittle. And on top of all of that, every time I have these on, I get complimented on my nails everywhere I go. So if you're someone that loves to get compliments every day, you definitely got to try these out. I had to put ColourPop's BFF liquid liners in my top three. And to be honest, I was actually debating on putting this between number two and number one. And it was just going back and forth. But that's how much I love these and use these. Now, if you haven't seen, I discovered these during my Catrice ColourPop full face video. And I have been using these almost every day since then. They are super pigmented. Like, if you want a black, you'll get a black. On top of that, they last all day long. And they don't smudge or transfer. For me, I have to be careful with liquid liners, especially with my hooded eyes. Because sometimes if it's not dried down quick enough, and I blink or something, you like, I'll get spots up here. Or I'll get smudging over here. Because if you see in the corner of my eye, it, wait, it dips down. Liquid liners have been a pain in my butt until these. With these, I've never had any of those issues. I just cannot believe how easy these are to use. They got the perfect tip to get you really close to your lash line. So if you want to do a thin line, or you can just easily build it up into a bold wing. And I'm not good at the wing liner look. But these have made it so much easier for me. If you haven't tried these out yet, then you're making your makeup routine a hell of a lot harder than it needs to be. Because these are absolutely perfect. And my number one beauty product for 2020 is... Yes! The Farsali Pre-Bake One. Now, I'm going to admit, I've only been using this for a couple months, but that's how incredible this product is. I got this in my October BoxyCharm box, and I went and actually picked up another one in my BoxyCharm November pop-up purchase. That's how much I love this. And I also wanted to make sure I was not going to go without this at all through the winter season. I know right now, many of us are dealing with dehydrated skin or dry skin. And for me, in the wintertime, my combination skin struggles with holding onto any hydration. But since I've started using this in my nighttime skincare routine, I've noticed a major difference. It literally feels like your skin is drinking water straight up. And it dries into your skin so fast. On top of all that, this is on the more affordable end of the spectrum. I know from what I have seen, most of the time, serums are like 40, 50, 60, even more. This is only $24. And if you get it on sale, or like I did, get it during one of Box Charms pop-ups, you can get it even cheaper. This is definitely a staple in my skincare collection that I'm not only planning on using throughout the winter, but all year round. Well, folks, those are my top 10 favorite beauty products that I have loved in 2020. Now it's your turn. What are your favorite 2020 products? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you have to say. Also, if you haven't done so yet, I welcome you to hit that subscribe button and notification bell, so that way you're notified when I upload a new video. Until next time, remember, be kind to yourself and to others. Bye.